guys, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. In today's video, I am coming to you guys with another juicy chicken related video. Now, today's video, we're making juicy chicken drumstick under the oven. What makes this chicken drumstick different from the previous one I've done is because this one I am using a new technique and new spices. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoy the video. And also do not forget to subscribe before you leave the channel. I would love you to be a part of the squad here on Island Vibe Cooking. Now leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next on Island Vibe Cooking. And without further let's go okay guys these are the ingredients you will need to make your chicken super juicy we have some coconut oil about two tablespoons we have seasoned salt we have some black pepper we have grilled meat chipotle roasted garlic we have red pepper paprika we have chili powder you guys can't really see that there you go. We have chili powder, we have garlic powder, we have um, oregano, you have some lemon juice, and when you combine all those dry seasoning, you have this right here. So we're going to pour that all over the chicken, okay? Okay guys, now I did prep my chicken ahead of time because I want all the seasoning in there so I am going to add them in this bowl so basically the chicken that we are using is skinless I did remove all the skin on this chicken and also I added some apis in there which I didn't show you guys I forgot to show you guys I am going to show a clip of how the apis look like which I will leave in the description box if you're interested to see on how to make apis now I am going to add my um, chicken in here I already mixed that seasoning I am going to add it in there because just for the sake of the video uh, but I did prep my chicken ahead of time for more flavor now my stove is currently um, heating up to 400 Fahrenheit or 400 degrees so be sure you do that before you start cooking so you don't have to wait for the stove to start you, you know to get hot so we're going to add the chicken in here I have a few chicken we're making a good amount of chicken today so I am going to add the dry seasoning. Dry seasoning going in. Like I said, I did prep this ahead of time just for the sake of the video. I added the dry seasoning in there and why not? More flavors. Give it a quick toss. Now I feel like I need more chicken. Just add that in there. Just add that in there. Now I am going in with the coconut oil. Just pour that all over it. Ooh. Give it another toss. Now we're ready to bake this on 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it took me to cook it. Now I am going to add a little bit of tiny oil, a little bit of oil so the chicken don't stick in there. There's no oil, barely anything in there. So basically I am just going to add the chicken in there. Thank you. 
I went ahead and uh, removed some of the chicken that was in there because it was way too close together. I want this chicken to have some type of crispiness to it, not all the way, but um, I removed some of it. I am going to bake in two separate <laughs> containers. So we're going to pop this in the oven right now. Okay, you guys, this is how the chicken look. It looks super juicy. I know a lot of you guys told me on my last video not to throw away the juice, but I never throw away the juice. I usually use it for some type of gravy to pour over my rice. But this is how it looks right now. I am going to plate it and show you guys the final look, okay? This is the end of the video, you guys. I really, really hope you truly enjoy the video. Do not forget to subscribe and also let's get the video to 300 likes. Comment down below what do you think about this recipe and also comment what you want me to cook next. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.